Hiya. Yeah. Um, just a short video about the fuel tank assembly and fuel pump. Uh, okay, uh, on the left side, there's a fuel sender unit, like fuel level sender for the left tank. On the right side, there is the fuel pump and fuel sender for the right tank. <coughs> left side is easy, you just unplug the plug, then untwist, unscrew the cap. The unit basically comes out uh, just a sender. Um, with the right side, I already took it out anyway, but doesn't change anything. So, uh, disconnect the pipes. One is held by 17 mil, I think. Um, another is with the Jubilee clips. Um, one goes there, other goes there. So, <coughs> then uh, unplug the plug, unscrew the mine cap, take it off. Then there is a smaller one which opens anti-clockwise. You just turn, then lift it up, but be careful there's a spring inside. Once the spring is out, this will slide out. That's actually a fuel gauge, the level. Then it's gonna be long uh, another bolt, which is like long, uh, probably a foot long or something. Unscrew that. Once that's unscrewed, <coughs> we're gonna hold unit a little bit, twist it. Second, twist it, and then it's oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, and then it's all like come out with like that. <coughs> so basically uh, what's in the tank <coughs> is that that's fitted in a tank that's for left left side this is for right side so <coughs> what's happened the whole unit sits in like that the um, big bolt goes all the way through, through there, bolts through them holes, which holds all this unit together. Um, anyway, to take out is quite easy to <clears throat> to put back. Uh, there is probably more videos to, to say how to turn and twist, but cr critical part is this, which was on my S8. When I bought it, it wasn't running because someone went to fit the pump. When they was wedging in, they, they missed that, which is attached to that side. So they missed this slot and snapped it. So it went in, but that pipe stayed like probably like that or something. <coughs> so how this whole system works. The assembly is empty, uh, there is no holes on the bottom, how it works, when it's fuel in there, the pump pump into the engine, then the return pipe comes back, um, which is this, this pipe. Um, comes back and um, Hold on. Um, goes to. Uh, 
Where is it? Anyway, that return pipe actually fill, fills the whole uh, assembly up. But also how it works. Um, <clears throat> uh, fuel that comes back fills that up but pump works two ways one is there and then another works basically on a suction once it's sucking the return fuel back it's sucking from these pipes basically it works like a spray gun so the flow that flow will uh, go there, spray inwards, and it will suck all the petrol from the tanks with it, basically. And uh, what happens if this snaps? Obviously, fuel comes out through through there instead of goes back to the unit, and that's why you run out of fuel when it's over half a tank. So it still can get in in the unit, and then it's fine. It will still run probably three quarters of the tank, and then it will say that it's <clears throat> or our car will run out of the petrol even if it's will say three quarters of the tank that's the very critical part to line up that that uh, return pipe because once it's in obviously that is small o-ring which seals inside once it's in so it's all sealed so but yeah that's how it would look and when you take it out, it, it looks like that. So there is no holes underneath. The fuel pump sits in there. Um, you can get it out. If it still works, uh, but you already got a whole unit, don't chuck all pump away, because you can reuse it. <coughs> That's a pump. You can reuse it. There is a trick. Once you fit the new unit, to save you filling up like uh, over half a tank to just to get f fuel in that unit just take that cover off undo this uh, incoming fuel pipe from the fuel rail because on actual pump that thread is exactly the same you undo that one put screw the pump on a rail Put that pump in a bucket with a petrol, probably two liters should be enough, three liters, something like that. Or gallons, if you are in America. And uh, one gallon. Um, so, connect to that battery, let the pump do its job, it will pump the petrol. In the rail, we'll go back to return pipe. <clears throat> we'll go back to the tank. We'll fill all this unit. We'll fill all this unit. Obviously, we'll start going to your new pump or new, don't know, whatever you replace in, and the system will be primed. But then uh, turn ignition on on a car <coughs> for a second, literally second, to let the pump pick up some bubbles but should, should be enough once you prime it should be enough petrol to carry on like the system carry on like uh, what, it, what it is doing and then uh, once this petrol petrol is gone but the, try not to get air in it. it once it's on the bottom of the bucket like turn it off then this disconnect the pump connect your existing fuel pipe to the rail do it up it's um, 17 mils spanner and uh, 14 is other side and yeah um that's it and car should should start and and run as it should but the common fault what happens that this this snaps off comes out or obviously sometimes the pump goes uh, at first i thought it's uh, my pump so i got another one out of out of the uh, donor car and uh, turned out actually the pump was working it was the someone snapped that um, that pipe in a unit 
I'm not the best of making videos, but I hope it's gonna help.